Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute strawberry pom-pom planner charm. It's super cheap and easy to make, so if you want to see how it's done, keep watching! For this charm, you'll need red or pink yarn for the strawberry and white for the seeds. You'll need a clip, green felt, really sharp scissors, and then two pieces of thick cardboard. So I made this template if you need a little bit more help with cutting the cardboard or the leaf. Okay, so I start each planner charm with about 30 inches of yarn. You just want to make sure you have enough to tie off your planner charm when it's done. So now you're going to fold the yarn in half and sandwich it between the two pieces of cardboard. And this doesn't have to be exact, just approximate. Once you have the yarn sandwich between the cardboard, you're going to go ahead and wrap it around 50 times. So now you're going to take your white yarn and you're going to wrap it around about twice everywhere you want the seeds to show up in your strawberry. So after you trim the white yarn, you're going to go ahead and wrap another 50 times with the red yarn. And now you're just going to repeat the process again with the white yarn for the seeds, and then after you're done with that and you trim off the white yarn, you're going to wrap one more time, 50 times, with the red yarn. After your last 50 rounds, you're going to go ahead and trim the yarn, and then you're going to pull on the loop. You'll see me doing that in just a second, and you're going to pull it about halfway through the cardboard right here. And then you're going to bring it around and tie it in a loose tie. going to pull out the cardboard. And now using some really, really sharp scissors, you're just going to go ahead and cut through all of those loops that you just made. And be careful not to cut your fingers. important part, you want to make sure you're tying this knot really, really tightly. Um, if you have a problem with your strawberry falling apart when it's all done, it's because you didn't tie tight enough here. Okay, so holding on to the ties, you're going to begin to shape your strawberry. And don't be shy here, you have to cut off quite a bit of yarn to get the right shape. This part is really sped up, but I probably spent a good maybe five to eight minutes actually cutting and shaping the strawberry, and it kind of helps to start cutting downward, but then switch directions and start cutting upwards. Um, it gives the strawberry a better shape. Once you have it looking the way you want, we're going to move on to the stem. So I have two different colors of felt here, but I just decided to go with the light green. So then 
then you're going to go ahead and fold your stem in half and then make one small cut in the center and then you're going to unfold it and then fold it the other way and make another small cut so that you get an X in the center. I'm just trimming off the ends of my strawberry just so that they're a little more even and it's easier to feed through the stem. You can kind of decide whatever length you want depending on how you want your charm to turn out. So here you can see I'm just making a few last minute adjustments. You can trim it off uh, to make it look exactly how you want it to. And then I'm just tying a knot in the top to keep the leaf in place. Okay, so I got this gold clip from Hobby Lobby and it was about 99 cents. And you don't really need this, but it's easier to clip in your planner. So I just kind of feed it through and then I just tie a loose knot, but you can really finish it however you want. And this is how it looks in my planner. So like I said, I just did a loose knot on the inside. So as you can see, it looks a little unfinished. So you could definitely change that if you don't like the way it looks, but that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. I hope you guys like it and thanks for watching.